What's up, people? You have found the Kale Report, and I'm Scott Killian. Today, we're going to take a look at a modular motorcycle helmet called the Outrush R, made by Cena. And I'm sure if you're familiar at all with motorcycle or communications comm systems in motorcycles, you've heard of Cena. And I'm going to let you know my opinion, Killian's opinion, on the Cena Outrush R, and I'll let you know if it's a KO or just okay. Stick around. Welcome to another installment of the Kale Report. I'm glad you're here. As I mentioned in the opening credits, we're going to be talking about the Cena Outrush R. As a lot of you know, I have recently picked up a 2016 Victory Magnum, and it's new to me, and my old motorcycle before was a uh, gloss paint job, so a gloss black helmet fit it. Uh, this motorcycle having a flat white or a matte white paint job, I wanted a white helmet. Um, a black helmet just didn't seem right. So uh, I had first ordered the Cena Outrush uh, without the R and it had a different communication system on it that only uh, was in market for about a year to a year and a half and then they updated to the Outrush R. Uh, got the helmet here, I've already, it won't be an unboxing, I've already took it out, but um, it does come with a, a nice nylon bag to carry it with, a charging cable for the communication system or the Bluetooth in it, and then the helmet itself, and I'll be honest with you, this is a really good looking helmet. I, I love the, the lines at the back and the curvature here. Uh, the ventilation system here at the top. It has two, uh, two release ports here. Air goes through here. You can flip this forward and, uh, forward and back to open and close the ventilation system. The exhaust flows, they are open all the time. You also have a, uh, a chin vent here that you can slide up and down to uh, open vents here. Keeps the screen here, the visor, from fogging up. Speaking of visors, you do have an adjustable visor. And inside, there's a lever here that you can press, and it brings down a shaded visor. Just one button. So that, that's really nice. Um, it is under the chin mount to give you a modular opening and you can see the microphone here for conversations. The headliner inside is removable and washable and I did love this quick release here that you pull the, pull the red and it opens up. And then, just clicks in. It's a lot more convenient than your standard D-ring and it's adjustable here. So there's a lot about this I love. Um, like I said, my motorcycle is white with black and gray trim on the bike. So that was a big thing. I like the retractable lid. I've always liked a modular design helmet. Um, the first one I got was the Outrush R and it didn't have this communication system on it. It had more of a dial. So you had to turn it forward for about a second and a half and then it would power on. You could push the main circle to answer or hang up calls and then you could have volume up and volume down by you know clicking it forward or clicking it backwards. This one's much simpler. It's a three button design. So you got power on, volume up, volume down. Also answering your calls, changing uh, songs if you're listening to music through this and I'll go ahead and tell you guys, the first one I ordered, because my other motorcycle's uh, helmet is a medium, I ordered a medium in this, I couldn't get it over to my ears. So I went straight from a medium to an extra large. Uh, the design and the shape of this is more, you can tell, it's going to be hard to tell from outside, but the design is more egg shaped than it is circular and i think that it really gives it a distinctive look dot certified um what i didn't like is even now when i put it on 
and this is an extra large, I have to really spread apart here to get it to go on. And once it's on, I have to reach in and unfold my ears because it, it folds them in, which is subject to, I'm sure, a lot of jokes. But the, the D-ring here are the, the quick connect. I love that. And here, the fit's fine. There, there's nothing wrong here. But the moment this comes down, from here down, it gets so tight, it pushes in on my jaw bones to where it's slightly uncomfortable. Not terribly, and I've been able to go for a ride wearing this helmet, but after about an hour, it starts hurting. And after two hours, I take it off and my ears from here up are just red and they are on fire and tingling and it stays like that for about 20 30 minutes after a long ride and i, I there's I, I can't go to a 2xl they do offer it but even on the xl i've got it adjusted as tight as it can and i think in a in a bad accident it may go over my chin the chin strap no no matter how tight i've got it here it's just tight enough for a larger head. So I can't go with the, um, shoot, computer, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't go with a larger helmet than I already have. But I do want to point out some of the highlights on this. Let me, I uh, had a cheat sheet here pulled up. Built-in speaker and microphone. Honestly, it works great. I did make a phone call uh, or receive a phone call while I had it on. The retractable visor is fantastic. Uh, the heavy duty uh, HD high definition speakers, not heavy duty. Uh, the high definition speakers um, are sufficient. They're not going to rock you out. They do have a hardened card on uh, upgrade. Uh, this helmet's around, I want to say $239, $249. And they have another uh upgraded helmet that is around 699 or 799 i want to say 699 i just couldn't justify paying that much for just better sounding speakers if it was a better fit perhaps um hd intercom uh the person who i was speaking with on the phone when i was riding they said they could hear me fairly clearly but they could tell i was on a motorcycle four-way bluetooth intercom intercom range is uh, a little over half a mile at 0.6 uh, advanced noise control, like I said, they could hear me, uh, smart uh, intercom pairing. There's an app for the phone that you'll download. It's a Cena app, and it makes pairing your phone super simple. And then voice prompts. I honestly never use the voice prompt, so I can't tell you much about it. But design of the helmet, I think it's probably one of the sexiest helmets out there uh, that, I, that I was shopping for. But the fit of it is just not there for me i just it felt like i had a c-clamp just pressing right here on my head when i was bringing the the modular face down uh but the helmet itself if your head is shaped for it <laughs> it it will be a perfect helmet for anybody unfortunately and i don't think my head is is shaped too oddly and my ears are maybe larger than average but when I put it on, they fold just like this, and I have to reach in and push them back. Maybe it's the speakers where they're at. I did try on a Sedisi uh, motorcycle helmet at a Cycle Gear, and it seemed to have a better fitment going on. And I think in it, I could wear a large and not an extra large. So that's going to be my next purchase. I'm sending this one back and uh, I'll do a review on the Sedisi once I have it. But for this review, this helmet's okay. If it fits your head, I'm sure it's a KO. Uh, but for me, it's okay. I, I love the appearance. The functionality of it is great. Uh, all the features that come with it is phenomenal. It's just the fitment. Uh, otherwise, I, I, I can't say nothing bad. It just does not fit my head. Otherwise, it is a great motorcycle helmet if you're into modular helmets, which I am. Uh, but that's all I have for the day. Folks, I hope you have 
Uh, enjoyed the video. Hope you got a little bit of information from it. I do know the uh, Outrush R. There's uh, some Harley Davidson helmets that uh, have been custom made by them. Cena is known for its um, communication system, not really their helmets. I'm not sure who made the helmet for them. I'm sure they just put their comms uh, device and speakers in it, but it, it's a good helmet. If you've got any information out of this that you find useful, please hit me with a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to welcome you to the family. Once again, my name's Scott Killian, and this is the KO Report. Take care.